my beloved brothers and sisters, this has been a glorious conference, my brothers and sisters. I have felt close to those of you in this tabernacle and this building, even though there are, we're separated by a whole continent. This great sesquicentennial conference has brought us, brought us all close to the beginning of this dispensation. We have been refreshed because of those reminders. But even as we speak of the beginnings, even in the world, in the events, even in this world, we're reminded that we are moving ever closer to the ending of this dispensation. So for me, this conference has been filled with memories and also with anticipations, feelings which have been combined to make me more grateful than ever before for the privilege of being a part of this great Latter-day work. The, viewed in perspective, in a um, hundred and fifty years isn't really a very long life, even if the human in human history it is but a brief moment in eternity. You and I know that actually individuals and institutions are pleased by de are made by deeds and measured by deeds, not by days, by service, not centuries, just as an individual's life can often make up in quality what it lacks in length of years. So the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has compressed in 150 years many significant accomplishments. We don't have to be old to be great. We have now had 12 presidents of the Church. I wish to express my deep appreciation, my heartfelt appreciation for each and all of those 11 presidents who have preceded me and for all that they have done, been and meant to their associates and the general membership of the church and what they were able to achieve, often in the face of seemingly insurmountable obstacles. One cannot study the history of the church without being impressed with how steadfastly the majority of the saints have always been in the midst of the difficulty. I sense that some it's that seems steadfastness in the church today. Our members know their Lord. They know his leaders. They know their master's voice and follow it. They do not follow the strange voices nor the spurious enticements of the strangers. We have been entrusted with a special message for all the world. We must even, we must ever be conscious of that, that trust and ever be on the alert. There is a tide to be taken now in the affairs of the church. In it all the earth which will lift up and lift us up and carry the, the 
carries forward as never before. Let us then not weary in well-doing. Now, my brothers and sisters, as we move into the last half of the church's second century, let us keep our faith beautiful, simple. May we, as Paul said, be wise as a unto that which is good and simple. Concerning evil, learn to recognize evil and shun it always. May we keep church programs and the organization simple. If we do, we will build to a thrilling and rewarding moment in the days and months and years ahead. The Savior forged, urged his followers to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Let us follow that counsel today. Let us so live that if people speak critically of us, they must do so falsely and without justification. Let us hold fast to the iron rod. The Savior urged us to put our hand to the plow without looking back. In that simple, in that spirit, we are being asked to have humility and a deep and abiding faith in the Lord and to move forward and trusting in him, refusing to be diverted from our course, either by the ways of the world or the praise of the world. I see that quality of readiness and devotion in our people today. There is so much yet to be done, yet let us then move forward let us continue the journey with the lengthened stride. The Lord will bless us along with and lead us along with all that is and be in our midst and not forsake us. I know with all my soul that Jesus Christ is the Son of God that he died on the cross and was resurrected from the dead. He is the risen Lord, the great presiding high priest, and he stands at the head of the church. Of this I testify to you, my beautiful brothers and sisters, on this special Easter Sunday and on the anniversary of the restoration of this organization, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, in this very spot 150 years ago. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.